<sighs> Alrighty then, let's move on. Ooh. Nice and ancient. She can't help but think of him. A tender guiding flame in a world so black. The longer it burned, the more she convinced herself that there was nothing beyond its reach. How little separates us from what we fear. There's still further to go. Go down. Go down. Go down. Sigurd's new find power lets him hear the birds speak. And they say, Sigurd should eat the heart himself. Mm. Rian wants Fafner's gold. Sigurd should kill Rian before Rian kills him. We will find him. Sigurd should find Brynhild, the Valkyrie, who sleeps an enchanted sleep. She's going too slow. Rian is so close. Sigurd heeds the bird's advice. He kills Rian, eats Fafner's roasted heart, and takes Fafner's treasure. And he embarks on a new quest. To ride to Hinderfell and find Brynhild, the Valkyrie. Why is he looking for the Valkyrie? But knowing what we already know, that um, the treasure will bring death, pretty sure the Valkyrie is going to be the death of Sigurd here. I really hate how we're standing still right now, right? And the voices are like, what is she doing? She's going too slow. Hurry up. Oh my god, it's really putting me on edge. Not good, not good. Oh, dead bones. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Okay. More and more people who've made it in, but never came out. Oh my lord. Not this again. Oh, they can't grab me, right? But if you look at it carefully, it's not real. It's in our head. It's not real. It's just that sometimes you don't really have time to think about whether it's real or not. Oh my god. Don't let the torch! I'm coming for you! Oh! I'm coming! Come back! I can't be the Oh! It's time. You're not taking it from me! I won't send you off. I can smell you. No! I am leaving with him! You turn your back on me. That is why he did it. He has to fight. Fight! He has to fight for What is it? Into my shadow. Step one. Assess. Assess. It's got some long reaching hits. Oh my god. Oh. It seems like he might be pretty armored. That's a problem. With the armor. Oh. Maybe only heavy strikes will work. What is this, though? Oh. This is bad. Oh. Oh my god. Only get rid of it with the focus.
Heavy strikes all around. Whoa! Oh. I think we're doing pretty well right now, all things considering. Oh. No. the same side I was evading to. Oh, he's breathing darkness. Shit. Oh. I can't see. Oh my god. Again. Darkness is getting bigger. Ooh. The light spots are like really small now. Ooh. God damn, I can barely see him. I can't surprise him. Oh. I feel like I have my A-game here today. Oh shit! Oh! Oh! <gasps> People think of evil as an unnatural invisible force and so invoke the gods for protection but evil can come from the hand behind the gods a familiar hand cold and cruel he tried to fix her with his rituals dad kept her trapped in that hole she couldn't say which was worse the darkness or the monster that her father had become she couldn't fight them both and so she left headed for the one ray of light that shone down on her if she had stayed she wouldn't have survived but maybe Delian would still be alive save his soul, even if this time she can't save her own. Forgive me, Senua. I know you have no reason to trust me anymore. But believe this, it was my mission to make this to hate the darkness with a passion so great that you focus your mind on this quest. So without it, I fear you would have let go of this life. All this time, I've wanted to protect you from the truth that would have destroyed you a long time ago. But you have conquered your darkness at every turn. 
You deserve to see behind the veil of darkness. Then take me to the wants her to trust him as deep as we can go. No. I won't stand in your way. She has to trust him. Follow it. You will not survive what is in there. It's different. What else can she do? Very interesting that the darkness is suddenly all friendly. The I assume that's the darkness's voice, right? The the what is it? The really sandy male voice. Not not sure what to think about that. He's saying that he tried to make us hate him so much so that we had the will to survive. It doesn't sound like it's wrong on paper, but I don't know if I should be trusting anything this guy says. Passion, hatred. I hesitate to say that's not a valid way to find a reason to live. If it's the only thing that can keep you going... Whoa. And that was a lighting error. Kind of comical when they're like, "Hello." <laughs> Mother, I won't let the darkness trick me again. I know you're safe with the gods. I can feel Hella's gaze, searching for secrets inside of me. Secrets that even I can't see. I'm not here to fight my past. I'm here for Dilia. I will fulfill my vow, whatever the cost. No, no, she can't. It's too dangerous. Hella has already she beaten has me to, twice. She is she is dead. She was the first time in the wild? Because no uh, I thought the second time was when we got the burn. Hella is all-powerful, but I've come too far now. I'm doing this for Dillian. I need a motivation. Whatever it is, I need just something. If I can't believe in myself, if I don't want to do this to save myself, then I think it's totally fine to have another reason to want to live on. To want to defeat the darkness. Yes, Senua is strong enough. Hella has defeated her twice. What about the other side? Hella gave you the rot. Look at your arm. Look what Hella's done to you in front. This way you can't. Gonna check out the other side first. You have to do it. You have to fight her. I will fight her. And I'll defeat her. Northmen say the world will come to an end. They call this Ragnarok, the destiny of the gods. First, there will be a terrible winter, three years long. Then, mankind will turn on itself. Brothers will fight each other to the death, and people will forget what they owe their kindred. Times will be hard. Crimes will be great. It will be an age of axes and swords. The wind will blow through abandoned halls. Wolves will walk where children played. The world will fall into Could you ever I guess I'm coming to my Ragnarok too. The end of my journey. Jesus, that was loud. Okay, I'm okay with you guys whispering. But don't suddenly start yelling in my ear. Oh my god. No, I'm actually not okay with you guys whispering either, but... You can get used to it if it's an even volume. Not if you're changing that. Okay, so... Hang on. We're going up here. But what about that place that we just saw? With the broken bridge? Guess we'll find out. Ooh. Oh. 
Does this go back to the same place? Why is everyone so quiet? Ah, I need to fix it here. Oh, come on. Gotta find the right angle. It's not like that. Are there multiple? It seems like there might be one more on the other side, too. Yes! Thank you for the encouragement. Could I... No, I don't think I can climb down the chain. Alright guys, I'm ready. I'm expecting someone to ambush me here. I got my A game today, I think. That fight with that... beast went really well. I love how more scars appear on these guys, the more we slash them. Anyone else? Three at once? Slow. You again. Shoot! A game, A game. How will she do it? Well, worry about the specifics of how to get. Was that door? How's she going to find I thought I saw it close just now. Yes, thankfully I learned that you can attack them, the guys when they're a shadow. If you can block them or use a heavy strike. So, hopefully I'll be making use of that technique. Good thing I learned it before I finished the whole thing. No one can bargain with Helen. What does Helen want? What can she give her? There's a lot of like... If I never try to experiment, then I just never learn that mechanic. So... There's a lot of that sort of thing going on here because... They don't really... They really don't. Not don't really. Really don't. Really don't hold your hand here. You're a cursed soul. She can't cross the bridge. It's broken. She has to fix it. It's too dangerous. She's done it before. She can't. Let's not fall down. She's done it before. She can't. See, this she one we can't fall down off of. How will she do it? There must be a way. Sorry, you have to try. Get to the gate. She'll never make it. This isn't just a broken bridge, is it? Mother, you showed me how to see further. To see the hidden wonders in our world and explore new paths into the unknown. To lead so that others may follow or to warn so that they may avoid. That is our gift and our duty. I'm not going to look away in fear anymore. 
I think that's the closest thing you can call Senua's original real voice in the entire journey that we've gone through so far. It's good. We're finally getting a chance to hear this. The Northmen say the gods will fight their last battle at Ragnarok. Their watchmen will blow the horn that can be heard through the whole world. And Odin will speak with the severed head of Mimir, which gives him good counsel. The land of the giants will thunder with the sound of their army on the move. The gods will assemble. The dwarves will leave their stones. The frost giants will come from the east. The Midgard serpent will turn up the waves. Eagles will scream and tear at the corpses with their yellow beaks. The ship of the dead will set sail. The final showdown. Ragnarok. Oh, there's another piece here as well. Oh, there's a lot more broken pieces than I thought there would be. Uh, it's kind of hard for me to even focus on what's broken right now. No, I don't know how to fix this. I gotta keep going up. This looks promising. She can do it. She can do it. She there is some metaphor it. here. We're not just fixing a bridge, but we're fixing... Maybe. We're fixing bits of ourselves, too. She must see. Um, I'm not sure which... What this portion here is. She can see her secrets. But I can cross the bridge now, right? Or is there still a broken piece here? No, there is. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot of things going on over here. Well, I can try walking to the end and see if anything happens. There's an illusion. She's found a way. There's a way. She can see. She must align herself. She can do it. That's the door. She aligns herself. I can align myself. I feel like if I wanna if I wanna fix this part, maybe I need to go up there. Just judging by the perspectives, it's gotta be somewhere high. And there's that bit over here too. Oh, can I change the rocks? Oh It's not an illusion of the bridge. What about this one? No, this one looks like the bridge. You notice how, now that Senua is slowly finding herself, the voices have gone a lot more quiet. And when they speak, they, they seem to be a lot more positive than before too. Really loving that. An open door. The Northmen say that at Ragnarok, the gods will face a ship full of their foes, which Loki has steered to Asgard. It carries the fire giants, the wolf that will eat the sun, and all kinds of dark creatures. Surt will join them with his sword of fire. The cliffs will crash, trolls will walk the land, men will tread the road to hell, and the heavens will split open. Again, the final showdown. We can do this. No, apparently we're gonna get stopped by a door. But it's okay because we can get around the door. I can feel our resolve growing. I'm not scared anymore. We can do this. Okay, well for... For easier escaping purposes, I think it's prudent of us to open the door first. <laughs> yeah. We're good. 
You know how earlier we were descending to hell because we were just covered in darkness again and again, but now we continually go upstairs because it's like we're getting uplifted. We're not going to hell anymore. Not in our minds anyway. We're slowly creeping out of the darkness. Oh? Have we not been here before? Oh, Jesus. Okay, that scared me. Is there another upper portion or... Yeah, this is the... Shh. Okay. Whoa! Okay with that guy not moving. Any more? I wanted to do it without focus, but there's no shame in using it. Block more. Still taunting me? I'm good today. Oh, I love this. We're doing better and better. Just like Senua. There we go! <sighs> Come on, we can do it! We can do it! Can we keep going up? Of course we can! say that each god will do battle at Ragnarok. Odin will fight the monstrous wolf and be killed, but his son will avenge him and plunge his sword into the heart of the beast. Freyr will face Surt, but he had given his sword away for love, and without it, he cannot defend himself against the flames. Thor will smite the Midgard serpent to no avail. The sun will grow black, the earth will sink into the sea, the stars will disappear, fire and water will meet, steam will shoot up, flames will play against the sky, the heavens and earth and all the world will be burned, all the gods will be dead, and the warriors of Valhalla and the people everywhere. Senua, prepare yourself for Ragnarok. For it is nigh. Ragnarok. It might be a little bit too late for me to finally realize this, but I guess Senua is supposed to be Odin, isn't she? We even have Odin's sword and everything. And Druth just told us that o Odin dies, but he's avenged by his son. Well... I don't know, would you consider that a good ending for Odin? I don't know. And I guess we'll have to see if Senua can do better than what Odin did then. At Ragnarok. Okay. The bridge is finally complete. Now there's only one thing left to do. We have to cross it.
So we've seen Hella before. It's not our first time seeing her, but I don't know how it's gonna go down because she's gigantic. Much more gigantic than that beast. Was that beast supposed to be Fenrir, by the way? I don't know, it didn't really look like a dragon. But maybe it's just some... Dark here. Maybe it's just a representation of fear. up together if we can. You finished it. Whoa! It's nearly over. A game, A game. Is that the only guy here? Oh! Ooh, there's a lot! Oh my god! Jump off the bridge and die! A little bit difficult to dodge here. The bridge is really small. Who did I say brought their A game today? One at a time. I can't see. Come on, come on. Coming for you, Hella. Whoa! Oh, come on. Hurry, hurry! I've come way too far to turn back. Guys, chill out. I'll be okay. All right, guys. Come at me. You know what to do. Remember the warrior trials. Oh, there's a lot. Yes, Senua!
shoot. This is a really small space to maneuver around in. She's injured. a little bit. That better be the last guy. Oh, a little bit scary, but we made it okay. It's raining. Hella? I've come knocking on your gates. Give me back Dillion. We die too. Do we die too? We I don't want to die. I don't want to die. We'll all die someday. I don't, I don't want, want to die. die. And when everyone's gone, even the gods will die. I don't want to die. We don't want to die. Stop. I don't want to die. Senua, stop. Stand Senua. back. Stop. Stop her. They're all in preservation yeah, mode. Self-preservation mode. Stop. Senua, what stop. happens to us? <laughs> Is that a mirror? Why would she stop? To die. She wants to stop. 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 I'm sorry. I didn't ask you to be a part of me. If you don't want to die with me, then leave me alone. I don't want to die. Please stop. 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 You'll never come back if you go there. There is nothing to go back to. We only have each other now. Don't abandon me. Everyone suffers. They were right about me. Then, listen to me. Not them. They were afraid. Like children scared of the dark. So was I. They made up monsters to fill the void. That doesn't make them real. No use turning back. Uh, it's not like the old stories, is it? The noble warrior facing evil in search of victory and honor. Clear dividing lines. No. Oh, this place is not quite like that. It's as if it knows that true torment lies within. Memories you cannot defeat, cannot escape. This is her hell. Hell is a little bit brighter than I was expecting. Oh. Oh, it's like judging me or something.
Never mind. Oh, someone's standing there. Oh, we're back to the village again. Did she kill herself, or did the villagers burn her? I remember it clearly now. She has nothing to fear anymore. The gods have saved your mother. Through my hand. when you listen to the voices of the underworld. They crawl into your soul and rot you from the inside. Defy the gods like your mother and the darkness will come for you too. You understand, son. It is the way of the gods. It was all a lie. You are a lie! She didn't defy the gods. She defied you. And so you killed her. You didn't pray to the gods. You prayed to your mother. Your mother, who was too weak to fight the darkness and abandon you. You tortured her. You killed her. You are the darkness. Oh. Everything we've done amounts to this. The pain that still haunts you. It was the only way to fight the curse within you. You're a liar. The darkness is inside you. Let me just. Oh! You're a liar! It's my dad! No, Sima. The darkness is here. You can't push it away. And it will watch as you draw the last dying gas. Let you kill me. Ah! Feel like my attacks are getting stronger. Watch out. Soft voices. Soft. Encouraging, advice-giving voices.
Look at how quickly I'm plowing through them. Look how quickly I got up just now. I fix this? Oh! All I need to do is walk in front. guys knew I'm really injured whoa every step he takes cert it's cert Well, Robin! Show oh my... Oh my god!
Lucy! You're trying to trick me again with your lies! I know he's here! You took him from me! You have him! He's human sized. He is mortal. Or what? What can he do to me that you haven't already? He betrayed Fight your me. own father. Come on! He betrayed the gods in search of William, in search of love. Look where that's got you. Let go of your battle. Let go of your redemption. Let go of Vivian. Don't let your darkness hurt anyone else. Surrounded to the Behind you. Watch out. Behind you. Why is my focus not coming back? I want to get rid of the smaller guys first. But that might not be possible. Go! I can't give up! You're killing yourself. Be careful, Senua. I'm killing myself. Behind you. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Let go of your bed. You've done enough. You're going to die. supposed to happen I was told to let go Yeah. <laughs> 
Gente. And I can't save them. to not be afraid of death, Zeno. Because a life without loss is one without love. You turn your back on death and all you can see is the shadow that it casts. The longer you hide from it, the longer the shadow grows until all you can see is darkness.
Everything we've done so far is because we've wanted to save Dillian, who is dead already. He's done so much for us, but maybe it's time to let him go. We can see Dawn break. But we can also hear the voices. Oh, the rot! I'm so glad that Senua turned out okay at the end. This is getting to me a little bit. Oh my gosh. I had quite a few thoughts that I was waiting until we got to the end to talk about here. But just speaking about the ending, this whole ending sequence, the last 30 minutes, last hour or so, I felt like it was really beautifully crafted. Everything from building the bridge, fixing the bridge, confronting the our darkness in the mirror to finding out that our dad is the source of all our problems and then the very ending there where we basically experienced the rebirth i guess you would call it oh my god when she died i thought it was going to be like a oh well you know she died on her own terms she wasn't taken over by the darkness at the very least but thank goodness she was actually okay and it wasn't like a cheesy kind of okay too I remember talking about this near the beginning, when I was saying that, oh, well, if it's a game about mental health, then I feel like they can't make it a negative ending, because what kind of message does that send about struggling with mental illness? And I'm very happy to see that the ending was both very positive and not forced. Mm -hmm. So what actually happened here? Let's recap a little bit. Uh, basically, her dad, Zinbol, killed Galena. No, she did not commit suicide. She was basically tortured and I guess back in the like the mythology days, they don't really know how to deal with that kind of stuff. So when they see something that is remotely different to what they've been seeing this whole time, aka Galena having a mental illness, they're like, oh my god, she's cursed heretic we got to do something about her blah 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 and then you know that's how she was tortured and pretty much the same thing happened to Senua except it never got to the point where she was killed as well yet because she ran away to the wild 
And why did she have courage to do something like that? Because she had Dillian. Dillian taught her that her father's point of view is not the only one in this world. There are other ones too, other ones that will make her happier if she adopts those kind of views. It's really sad because Senua had Dillian, but Galena didn't have anybody. She was supposed to be the, the village healer too, right? And they just killed her, like, oh my god. But yeah, the ending sequence here was Senua overcoming, conquering that darkness and letting go of Dillian at the same time. It's good that she used finding him, saving him as motivation to live on this whole time, but now that she's gone to the point where she can get rid of the darkness, all that Dillian can do for her, it's been done and it's time to let go. That was a positive ending. Pretty undisputably, I would say, but it's not perfect because by the end, her rot, it did disappear, but she could still hear the voices periodically in her head. It's not something that just goes away. I don't really feel too qualified to talk about the mental health part of this, but mm, from what my outside perspective can gather, that felt like a respectful portrayal of what it might feel like. Seeing patterns and shapes that maybe other people would have trouble finding. Colors and refractions. Voices. Sometimes positive, sometimes not so positive. This is probably one of the most introspective games I've ever played. There's not that many games out there that only focus on one character and their state of mind the entire game. And it was a really... I want to say enjoyable, but maybe that's not the right word, but I think you know what I mean. It was an experience to be had. And I'm really glad for the existence of this so-called indie AAA or AA genre. Speaking of which, I really appreciate that you could tell they had a budget, but at the same time, I felt like they really put the budget where it counted. We've all seen the errors in the subtitles, and I've shown you the, the menu before. It was nothing fancy at all. The font was like, what? Tahoma? Ariel? Look at the credits right here. Nothing fancy at all. Which you would never see in a AAA game, because they, they put money on the strangest things. Custom fonts, you know, pretty menus, whatever. Things that are nice to have, but not necessary. So you could see these faults, but I feel like where it really mattered, it didn't feel like it was low budget at all. The story, voice acting, sound design, environment design, so on and so forth. So I feel like I just really appreciate that. I don't know how the development of this game went, but just based off having played the game, I feel like they had a pretty competent project management team. Of course, it would be nice if we could get, you know, proper subtitles and maybe higher textures. Sometimes you could really see the pixels in all the textures and stuff, but none of those are deal breakers and I'm totally happy with my experience with Hellblade. And like I said, at the end of my very long battle with Val Raven because I was an idiot and wasn't taking the cues, this was really a treat. Mm-hmm. Good games come by often enough, but experimental games, not so much. So I really appreciate that Ninja Theory tried to do something new here with Hellblade. Mm-hmm. And with that said, I think we can call it a day. Thank you so much for experiencing Hellblade with me, and I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing it. And I'll see you all in another place, in another time.